In this demonstration, we will show you how to export a modified XTML editor project and install it into a target location. To do so, you will right click on the modified project and choose the export option. Then you will navigate into the plugin development folder and choose the deployable plugins and fragments option. On the next page, you will choose your destination for the export. You can either export to a directory, an archive file, or directly into your development environment. For this example, we will be installing into an existing XTML editor installation, so we will use the directory option. When installing into an existing XTML installation, you'll want to choose the Eclipse Extensions Bridgepoint Eclipse folder under the root installation folder. This will place the exported plugin into the proper location. The next thing that we need to do is choose the options tab and determine if we're going to export it as a jar file or export as a folder structure. The XTML editor currently uses both. So when modifying existing projects, you need to determine which one is which. To do so, we will look at the existing installations plugins folder. And you can see which one has folder structure and which one has a jar file. So in this case, we've modified the BP utilities jar file. So we know that we want this to be exported as a jar file. So this button checked here is what's going to do that. If we uncheck it, it would be exported as a folder structure. Next we can hit finish. Once the plugin has been exported, we can start up the pre-existing installation. and then test that our changes actually made it through. So the changes that I made were to add a context menu that would create components from a sequence diagram. Let me get the GPS watch example. In here we have an analysis package with a start stop reset sequence diagram that has a few component participants. The change I made adds a context menu when right clicking any package that will allow you to create a component diagram. Got the text wrong. It'll create the package under the same parent package with the underscore implementation added to the name. And what it does is create real components. Either way we can see that the plugin changes I made have been installed to the target system. 